Did GoPro just solve the overheating issue with the GoPro Hero 10? Eh, kind of. Stick around and find out. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Adventure FPV. My name is Lee. If you're new to the channel, welcome. So today we're gonna do a little bit of testing on the GoPro Hero 10. I know people have been having issues. There's lots of videos out there uh, overheating this camera when it was sitting stationary or not moving. The 1.16 firmware is supposed to address that, so we're gonna do a little bit of non-scientific testing today and figure out if that's true. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the camera with the screen on, GPS on, boost on, and 4K 120, because that seemed to be where people were having the most issues with this camera. I'm gonna let this camera run. We're gonna use a FLIR camera to watch this and just see how long it takes to overheat. On the original firmware, uh, pretty much this thing maxed out with all the settings, and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that footage now. All right, so this is our first test with the original firmware, and we're kind of putting this thing to its maximum capabilities. So we're running 4K to 120 frames per second, which uh, seems to be just as bad as running 5K 60 frames per second. I also have on GPS, the screen is on full time, and we're also running hyper smooth boost along with the high bit rate Kodak on here. So this is kind of worst case scenario of what the camera would look like. And we ended up getting about 24 minutes out of it and it got up to about 113 degrees before the camera actually shut down. All right, so let's go ahead and get this thing updated to the 1.16 firmware and see if that makes any improvements. So this firmware can either be done through the quick app from GoPro, you can do it here, uh, just by connecting to your camera and it should automatically prompt you for an update. If it doesn't, you can also go to GoPro's website and download this manually, put it onto an SD card and you can execute it that way as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it through the app since that seems to be the most convenient at the moment. It does take several minutes to actually complete this update, so just be patient with it. And when it's done, it will tell you that. And I noticed there was a pop-up to explain there's been new video modes added. Okay, so now that we're updated to the 1.16 firmware, this gives us those additional modes, including tripod mode, which is what we're recording in right now. And I tried to keep all of the settings the same as far as the high bit rate, the 120 frames per second when filming in 4K. I also left the screen on full time, but this update does turn off GPS and you're hyper smooth. So those have been disabled through the firmware, but everything else should be exactly the same. And we ended up getting a lot more time out of this. We ended up going for about 36 minutes before it shut down. And it looks like the thermal load went up to about 118 degrees. Okay, with the 1.16 firmware, you're now getting the uh, high quality video mode, the battery saver mode, and then also the tripod mode, which is what we were running on was the tripod mode. So, you know, it appears with the tripod mode, it does turn off your GPS and it also turns off hyper smooth. So that's gonna automatically save you uh, on temperature a little bit just by doing that. But, you know, I was curious, was there anything else that was happening in the firmware um, that is also, you know, making it last a little bit longer. And as you can see from those tests, uh, the thermal limit was higher now after this firmware. It was a few degrees higher. Now, I don't know if that was a fluke or, you know, if they actually raised the thermal limit, but it does appear there was some tweaks there. So did that solve the problem with overheating? No, but they did make some adjustments, uh, probably for just an out of the box user to just be able to throw that on and get a little bit more out of it. Uh, you could have just went through and turned some of those settings down yourself previously and got more time but I wanted to put this thing through its maximum load uh, and see how it did. So there are things you could do to even further enhance that thermal load uh, to give you a little bit more time on this before it overheats. Like you, you could film at 30 frames per second as opposed to the 120, which you probably wouldn't be doing if it was sitting on a tripod anyway. Um, you could also change your, your resolution, but obviously you know, you're probably gonna want 4K these days. So if you're filming at 4K, Set your frame rate to either you know 24 frames a second or 30 frames per second, depending on what you like. And uh, yeah, that's gonna save you a lot on the thermal load as well. Like I said, guys, this was just a quick uh, video, nothing super scientific. I just wanted to see if there was an improvement with this firmware update, and I can say yes, there is an improvement with this firmware update um, that does help with the overheating on this camera. Is it, are you gonna be able to run this camera forever? No, you're not gonna run any small action camera at high frame rates and high, re uh, high resolutions forever anyway. So, but yeah, there was an improvement, so good on you, GoPro, and uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Hey, thank you for sticking around till the end of the video. If you wanna see some more great content, check out this recommended video or this playlist, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.